Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I decided to participate in a collab between me and some other YouTubers that makes mainly Psytrance videos. And those are Cyger, Glitch, Collective Intelligence, Priest, TJ the F Word, Ollie and Mute Production. So each and one of us are going to make something that will contribute to the track. So for example, Siger did the kick and bass. Then we had uh, Collective Intelligence doing the drums. We had DJ the F word doing the risers and effects. And then we had uh, Glitch doing the atmospheres and some leads. And I decided to contribute with uh, some more leads and complement them with some of the sounds that Dash provided. So let's hear what we got so far. Um, I just want to say also that uh, this is not going to be the final arrangement. I just placed the sound so I have kind of a backbone to work against when I make mine. So I think Priest is gonna do the final arrangement later. So anyway, here goes. So yeah, it's a 32 bar sequence, all in all. Um, I prepared some patches that I can do a little walkthrough of, because it's going to take a little bit too long if I was going to make all the sounds from scratch and uh, record everything out. Anyway, so let's start with Vital. It's a pretty simple FM patch with some modulation on the oscillator distortion for the inharmonics. And then I mapped a macro to our bandpass filter down here. And for the effect seconds, just a chorus that is not modulating the depth. So it's like a, just to put it in a space and then a low cut EQ. Um, the reason being is I want the sounds to be pretty dry and that leaves more room for tweaking them later on. Um, and then if we head over to the next synth, it's going to be Serum. And also here, a very simple FM patch. It's just a sub-oscillator, um, sine sub-oscillator uh, modulating a saw wave. And we got in our effect section a phaser that is being modulated by a node on random and some tube distortion and a low cut here as well. Same principle here. Uh, dry as the Sahara Desert, and filter of choice is a high pass. And then we have uh, a silent patch, which is a squelchy one. So it's the arpeggiator, uh, where we modulate the gating with a random LFO over here. We have some overdrive and then some compression, and then only some pitch modulation going on. And then we have a macro mapped to the filter over here. So let's start recording. Um, my idea is to record uh, some sounds from these patches. Then I'm going to move it over to AutoGrid. And I picked Dash's lead for this. Actually, I need to head over here. This one. I really like it, and I think the sounds that I made is going to complement well with that one. 
and we're gonna let autogrid spit out some cool sequences together with the lead uh, with dash with the lead dash made and further after that uh, I'm probably going to put a auto glitch to record even more variations out of it so we can have like some weird one shot effects I imagine them being easily created with with uh, the kind of texture that um, it gives out um, so I suppose Priest is going to get a lot of material to work with uh, once I'm finished. So let's get started. And I'm going to mute these two for now so they don't clash so much. our first one. Let's move on to the second one. And we can remove that EQ. It was a little bit too loud and I need to mute that channel as well so I can hear what I'm doing. That's a good volume. to the last one over here. So now that we got all our sounds, I'm gonna take all of them. First of all, we need to make sure they're about the same level and I think it's easier to do it over here. 
So let's. Sorry, not that one. It's these guys. Okay, so the peak levels are roughly the same. Good. So let's take these. And we're going to move them up here. And I'm going to mute that one. So auto grid, it works like this. Um, you set up the routing over here. So in this case, I choose which channels I want to be routed into auto grid. In this case, it's AG1, 2, 3, and 4. And then I can send everything to the sends only. So this means that if I press, they become blue. And what will happen is that AutoGrid is gonna, based on the probability settings over here, it's gonna um, gate them in between each other. So I'm just gonna have some, some kind of smoothing over here. And um, I want to record the output from AutoGrid um, to this channel. So I'm going to take the output over here and I'm just going to let it let it do its thing. But I want to um, have some compression on it so it controls the peaks. Then I want to double up the timing. And this is why I love this plugin because it <laughs> saves me time of doing this manually. So I like that. So let's go ahead and record. So we got our first take over here, so I'm going to name this one take one. I'm going to shrink it, move it to the side, and then I'm going to record a new take. We could try some panning. So maybe I want to pan this one a little bit to the right, and maybe this one to the left, and the others are going to play in the middle. Not this squelch. That one. Maybe we're going to play it like so. So it's going to play a little bit more often, or it's going to 
change between them more often when I lower the time allocation. Perfect. And I'm gonna name this take two. Move it aside. And we're gonna have pretty much the same setting, but playing all in the middle. Actually, we can leave this one. So, as I said before, I want to take a little bit step further. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take auto glitch, and we're going to re-record re some stuff, but it's going to glitch it up for us. So we can have that, and then we're going to activate the stutter section over here. And I already done the routing for us, so no need to set it up. And we can just hit record. <laughs> There's one thing, it lowers the volume a little bit, so what we can do is we can take a utility and put it after auto glitch and maybe up it up with 6 dB. So that's glitchy one, and then I'm going to take, I think the first one will be absolutely fine. Just need to hear how it sounds. <laughs> Yeah. 
that'll do. And let's make auto glitch times four instead. And let's do one more, but I'm going to include some pitch shifting in this one. So actually, I'm going to use the same one. Go for the best one, then lower pitch, maybe up seven semitones. And then 100%. And then we're going to do some, like, I don't know, 40% of proc chance and let's record again. Nice. I think that's all. As I said, I'm not doing the arrangement. I'm going to leave that to Priest. But now he got some sounds that he can use. So thank you for watching. I'm going to link to all the other guys' channels so you can catch up on what we're doing. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.